Hello, this is Dave from Megapoints Controllers. In this video, I'm just going to discuss uh, software update five for the servo driver. I'd encourage all users to take this update at your convenience. Um, the primary focus of this update is that we've given some love to the Wi-Fi hotspot selection screen. It's quite different. If you go to the servo driver and click on documentation, it'll take you to the product page. And under the product page, there's the software update patch notes. So you can read what it does before you take the download. So version five, which was released this morning, um, the main differences are that uh, we've made the hotspot easier to use. So the hotspot button here is now more forgiving. You can press and hold it and it won't jump in and then exit if you don't take your finger off quickly. Um, the main change is that the uh, Wi-Fi selection now does a scan for you. So it'll scan the Wi-Fi networks and then you can select from a list of the scan networks and just supply the password. Um, there should be no need to refresh the page and on supported devices, it'll take you straight to the hotspot selection page without you having to type in the, um, the IP address. The IP address on this has also changed. It's now 4.3.2.1 slash admin. And that's to improve compatibility with some Samsung devices. So it should be easy to use. So let me demonstrate. Uh, what I'll do is I will start the hotspot mode. Hold the button down for a second. The light starts to flash. The hotspot comes up. Now, if I go on my device, uh, I'm using an Android phone here, and I go to the Wi-Fi selection, after a few seconds, you'll see it says Surveyed and then the serial number of the device. And underneath that, it may say Sign In Required. So if you click on the hotspot to select it, and then at the top, it's telling me Sign Into Wi-Fi Network. If your device shows that, then just click the button and sign in. If your device doesn't show that, then you can just go to the, um, the, the IP address 4.3.2.1 slash admin. So if I tap the sign in and it takes you straight to the revamped um, Wi-Fi credentials page. So at the bottom here, uh, where it says, or oh, enter Wi-Fi details manually, that's your manual override. So if you are configuring a network that you don't currently have access to, you can enter the details manually there. But the main focus is at the top. So if I sit, click the uh, scan Wi-Fi button, then it tells us uh, under IP address at the top that the uh, it, the system is scanning for IP address for, for Wi-Fi networks. And it's come up and listed the strongest network it's found first. In fact, it's only found one. Usually I find four or five. Then you would enter your password. Click save. And after a few seconds, you'll see the reboot button appears. And in the IP address field above, it's now listed the IP address from the network that it's now connected to. So press the reboot button, the hotspot will stop and the board will resume normal service. Uh, when we rebooted the device, none of the servos moved. We tracked down some errant code that had a, a rogue servo movement. You can see on this when the, uh, the board was re, uh, rebooted, nothing moved. So that, that's been cleaned up as well. Now, if you're doing that and you don't get the pop-up message, I'll start the hotspot again just to show you. So this time I will take the um, network survey as the hotspot. It's telling me to sign in. This time I'm not going to use that because it may not present itself on your phone. So I'm going to select uh, Chrome my browser and I'm going to go to the address 4.3.2.1 slash admin and the page comes up again and this time I'll do a scan Wi-Fi we get the flashing scanning words and if I click on where it says in this case mega points I've got two access points it's de determined so I can select the which one take the top one it's the strongest signal then I can enter my password save and it's now storing that and attempting to connect it's given me the ip address 192.168.0.121 that's assigned by my router yours will be different 
Then I can use that address to connect. So I've pressed the reboot button, the board's back on the network and you'll see the hotspot light has started, has stopped flashing fast, which means it's in normal run mode and we're good to go. We've also added a little um, solution for uh, a, a trap where you may end up with uh, stuck trying to connect to a non-existent Wi-Fi network. And the way this works is if you remove power from the device and you hold the hotspot button down, insert the power and after a second, release it, the hotspot starts. And the, the, the issue there is that the code to run the hotspot triggers before it attempts to connect to any Wi-Fi networks. And you can again go for your usual um, connection method, find the device, connect to it, and I'm going to sign into my hotspot like so. Uh, the device management at the bottom is if you are at a remote location and maybe you are uh, working where there is no Wi-Fi network, then you can do the device management from that. If I turn the screen round, you can see it's a little bit bigger now, but um, <laughs> it's a bit difficult on a phone, but you could use your phone as, a, as the hotspot and then access through a tablet or something larger. We also changed the default speed of servos. Um, so um, when you do um, a reset to defaults, it will set the speed to uh, maximum. And uh, here we go. And now they're all set to maximum. Just to make it faster to install, I found it a convenience feature and then you're free to adjust them to whatever speed you want um, afterwards. So I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.